Hi there, welcome to the Beaten Trail, and in this episode we're going to revisit Lost Trails. Now we've done it in the past, this time it is with heavy snow. So we've had some heavy snow uh, a foot or two in the northeast, and these trails really have been beaten down with snow. Some people have tried to ride them, but we decided let's take a ride out and see how far we can get. So we had our team out here, we had Paul, we had Redbeard and Bubbles, and of course uh, me out uh, on the trail as well, uh, the smallest of the units. So, you know, riding up past the boneyard and up onto the, uh, past the river crossing, we're heading up and we had some uh, passes, and they're called power passes. I think they were $25 a piece. They did it for a limited time. By the time this video comes out, they're probably not available, but I know they're doing a special on uh, season passes. So, Take, take a look and sign up to their newsletter. So driving up, you could tell there's a lot of skidding going on. If you look at the trail marks in front of us, you know, there's been ice and melting and freezing and, you know, it just has been all flowing down this rut of a trail. And you can see where people are having trouble. But our Tusk Terabytes were great. Well, up until the point where we try to blaze a new trail, the blue trail to the left going to the top of the world was not ridden at all and so when we started going through we realized we're not going to get anywhere fast so we backed up took the red trail to the right now this goes to a a, a, a peak which is not top of the world uh, this technically leads down uh, then through um, some rock rock drops and then through some water pit and then back to the uh, the actual precipice where people hang out so Taking it easy coming down here, I certainly didn't want to go sliding off into the woods. It never makes for a good day. And once we got down there, we were able to meet up with uh, the rest of the team who were there already. And we set everything up so we can get a picture out here on the, on the edge of the cliff. And the weather was starting to change. We had a front coming through, the wind was picking up, and we wanted to get the drone up before we had any issues. And so. We did our gratuitous drone shot, and thankfully it came out really good, and it looks pretty epic. So, uh, she was struggling a little bit in the wind, but she's doing good, and then the ice had started, so I really wanted to not have her up too much. So, we took some pictures, we have a great team out there, and uh, we were going to hook up some tracking. I didn't get a recording going on my phone for DJI Fly, I'll do that next time. But we tried to track, and she didn't want to track the trail, but she liked the general. So the, uh, the footage came out good. It was able to track us all up to the top of the ridge line, and it came out pretty good. So let us know. Do you, do you like the drone footage as well? We try to give you a different perspective on when we go riding. We're going to continue to do this, and I really need more time to do some tracking. It's more a learning process, but once I get it going, it'll be good. So, you know, really, um, the winds were picking up, and I just wanted to make sure we, we took her down and not had any issues with my new drone. So there were other people out there. Uh, we noticed a couple utility quads, and they were out there riding, and it looks like they went up ahead of us, which is good because they have a lower clearance, and they would be a good gauge of if we were going to make it over to the tunnel and to the lake. So really, um, this, at this point, the trails had been ridden, and we uh, continued on, and we made sure that, you know, we were just uh, taking it easy. Heading over towards the tunnel in the lake, these trails on the ridge uh, going in that direction were about 8 to 10 inches of snow, maybe some more, but we definitely had a lot of fun. And we weren't sure how far we would get, so we were just enjoying the day for what it was. If you haven't subscribed yet, please join uh, our channel and subscribe and, and hit that like button. So we uh, started going down to the hill, what I like to call the bog, and you could tell that these trails really had been ridden, and it looked like someone tried to come back up, because there was a lot of mud and a lot of uh, spinning, and you can see that there was significant wear on the trail. So as we got down into the bog, we noticed, yeah, it's muddy and it's deep, and uh, the bottom of the trail was scraping, so uh, there were some points where I did get stuck. Thanks uh, to Paul, who had to pull me out a little bit with the, uh, with the, with the winch and the tow. So when we got to this point, uh, we had a pass 
uh, some of those uh, those uh, ATV riders, they couldn't get any further. And it looks like the trail had been ridden, but it was still deep. I mean, we're talking about a foot of snow. And I only have about 11 inches of clearance, so the trail uh, needs a lift kit. So we got to the tunnel, and this is typically the highlight of, you know, when you go to Lost Trails. And I didn't know how much water <laughs> and ice there really was. And as we drove in, you could see it was solid, a solid sheet of ice in the, in the beginning part of the tunnel. And the top of the trail was really close to the ceiling, and I was praying, please, GoPro, do not get whacked by the rock. Uh, and you have to just take it easy because there's no traction. And it looks like somebody had knocked some of the uh, icicles down uh, because here, you know, you had a couple breakage pieces and these mounds just kind of move you around where they want you. Uh, so go easy. Uh, we had a 50 and a 60, so I think you should be okay, but always be prepared to back out and, and make sure that someone's not right up your butt. Uh, the tunnel... Uh, in certain parts the water is not frozen so you'll run back into that but it's wet it's drippy so i apologize for the footage uh, was a little blurry because you, you can only drive and wipe the lens so many times and so like i said i need a little windshield wiper for the for the gopro but i did have the insta 360 behind the windshield and i should have put the windshield down but then you got to wipe that lens as well and as you can see that footage, uh, you know, it's a, it's, it doesn't do well in low light conditions, but it does give you a unique perspective, and that is simply, you know, it's good to use outdoors in the bright light. Here, not so much, um, only because, you know, the windshield is, is protecting it from the rain, and that's just kind of, you see what you see. But, really, I've never seen this much ice uh, out there, and, and it's really cool looking. But be careful, because again, this rock and this ice, they're the boss, not you. <laughs> so to make sure you don't smash up the sides of your side-by-side. -side. So again, we took, a, we took a break and we made sure we took a picture. Continuing on, we made our way down the trail. And this trail is a bit of a pedestal trail where uh, any side that you slide off of is not going to make your day very well. So we were taking it easy. Uh, we were slipping a, a little bit, but for the most part, the trail had been worn. It was ridden, uh, what appeared to be by a couple uh, side-by-sides. And Redbeard was up front, so he was scouting to see. He had the, the best clearance of all of us, and so he was riding up ahead. But as we got to this section of going up the hill towards the lake, there was just so much water coming down. The mud was deep, and uh, we just weren't going to make it. We're here in Lost Trails today, and we're stuck again. <laughs> it seems to be the uh, the depth is uh, definitely not working. Uh, I don't have the clearance in the trail to get up to these uh, hills, so we're going to have to wait for the rescue crew to come back and winch me up the hill. This is probably the you know, a little embarrassing, but what are you going to do? Uh, next vehicle will have more clearance. You know, for the most part, uh, $39 is a lot to ride here, but we're loving the trails in the snow. And we'll tell you a little bit more once we get wind up. So, thanks for watching. So, eventually, we were going to go ahead and pull myself up the, on the trail. But eventually, Redbeard did stop back, and he had said that, yes, we were not going to get any further up towards the lake, and so he came back. So what we had to do is we had to back down the hill and make our way back to the tunnel and find another way around. When it's this snowy, it's expected that there's some trails are not going to be open. We... Uh, took a, a side trail up, a blue trail that went over the mountain, and it was a lot of fun. I love spinning and riding up in the trails, uh, and this one has a good amount of use to it, so it was muddy and not too much ice, and we had a lot of fun. We found some additional trails down by the bear caves. Uh, they were a lot of fun. They were down by the river. Uh, some were red and maybe an expert. But we uh, took a ride, and Redbeard loves exploring and taking the lead. And 
that's what it's all about. Find some new trails, have some fun, go on a trail that you haven't been before. And there were some good rocks, there were some decent size obstacles, but we got through. And when you go out with a team, do that. You know, you stick together, you have a tow rope, you got a winch, you have a spare tire, you got food and drink, and you're all good. Everything that you're going to need. So, really, we found these trails uh, past, uh, past the Bear Dens and also looping around back to the, uh, the, sh the, the shipwreck, which is the, the, the uh, boat that's sitting up there in the middle of nowhere. So, we found these and we had a lot of fun and we went as far as we could. Some were dead ends, but what are you going to do? You know, that, that's a, go a day out riding in the rain with some dead ends is better than not riding at all. So we recommend that you get back out to Lost Trails and find some of these new trails, like maybe a trail you haven't gone on before. But if you're with a group, go ahead, give it a shot. And I'm hoping that Lost Trails sees this video and does put up some more promotions, you know. Get uh, people to buy some passes discounted. These were $25 a person, and that's a lot better than $39. Really, $39 is a lot of money. Uh, I know everybody's got a budget and they got to run the park, but you know, let's see if we can get a little bit uh, discount passes for people. But get out, have fun, have a good team, take pictures, enjoy yourself, rip up the trails, and be safe. And that's what we did, and we had a lot of fun. And we think you should do it too. Revisit Lost Trails. It's not FRO, but it is still pretty big and pretty expansive, and it's a good circuit. Again, have fun. Get out there, enjoy the trail, and we have to say yes. Lost Trail is definitely a lot more fun in the snow. So thanks for watching. Please be sure that you subscribe and smash that like button. And check us out. We're all over the place. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you out there on the trail.